hello viewers in today's video we are going to be talking about mage and how to install mage on our virtual machine first of all what is mage mage is a data pipeline automation tools that allow developers to write code in python r and sql using an interactive notebook user interface it supports data integration standard batch and streaming pipeline and it uses the single spare for data integration so basically maze is an open source data pipeline tools for transforming and integrating data is the modern replacement of airflow as stated here so with using makes you don't have to be going through the stress of writing DAGs. All you need to do is to input your code and run your transformation. So some of the advantage of Maze is that it effortlessly integrates and synchronizes data from third-party sources such as AWS, Azure, GCP and other platforms. It helps to build real-time and batch streaming pipeline to transfer to transform data using Python, SQL, and R. And it helps to run, monitor, and orchestrate thousands of pipelines without losing its. Sometimes running pipeline can be devastating, but with using Mage, it makes life much easier for developer. One of the advantage of Mage is that a single developer can easily scale up and manage thousands of pipelines. So without further ado, let's install Mage on our Virtual Studio. So our Virtual Studio in this project will be um, a complete machine of GCP Google Cloud Platform. So let us go to our Google, let's go to our console GCP. Type Compute Engine and come here and click on Compute Engine. You have two options of um, look, getting your Compute Engine. You can type it here or you can come here and um, search for Compute Engine, which is this. And you can click on Virtual Machine, but we already have it here. So, so let's um, let's create an instance. So click create instance. So let's call our instance name on this for this uh, installation. Let's call it Mage Instance. Let's call it Mage Instance, and. For you, you need to choose a region that is closer to you. For me, I will choose a US East for Northern Virginia. We will leave the series at E2. So here, um, under the memory, I will choose um, standard, and I will choose um, I will choose E2 standard for for vcpu and 16 um, gigabyte memory for this for this um for this instance and and i'll allow um, https i'll allow http traffic and allow https traffic and i will create my instance So it will create our instance, it will take few seconds. When our instance is ready, we'll continue. So let's open our virtual machine terminal. Click on this SSH. So our terminal is ready. Let me clear our terminal, type clear. We'll click enter so first of all before we install we install mage on our virtual machine we need to 
we need to set up our environment on our on our virtual machine chain so first we need to update our virtual machine so we've updated our virtual machine so now we need to install python so i will copy these two i'll copy these two command and and we install python type yes so we have successfully installed python on, on our machine i'll copy these two command to install we get so we successfully install we get and we've installed pip So let's get the pip. So now let's check our Python, Python 3. Let's check the Python we installed. We installed Python 3.9.2. Um, let's exit from our Python. So now, let's we need to install Mage. There are two ways to install Mage on our virtual machine. So let's click on this is the Mage page. Uh, let's go to Google and search for Mage. So Mage.ai. So you pick mage dot, choose mage AI and click on get started. So it will bring us to, uh, to the GitHub. So it will bring us to the GitHub installation of mage and to install mage, they ha we have two procedures. We can either install it using Docker or we can either install it using pips. But for this um, video, we are going to be using pips to install it. So sorry for intruding. If you're enjoying my content, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you never miss an upload. It really helps me out and allows me to create more videos for you. Thank you so much for your support. Let's copy the command to install Mage on our virtual machine. On. So now let's install Mage on our virtual machine. So I will say sudo pip3 install Mage Mage hyphen AI. So it's installing Mage on our on our virtual machine now. So it's going to take few seconds to install. So um, we have successfully we have successfully installed Mage on our virtual machine. So for we to run our Mage, um, we, there's a command. So to create new project and launch Mage, we are going to use Mage Start and our demo project demo project can be any name you give to it so let's copy let's copy it let's copy this command and go to our and go to our um virtual engine we created so i will call my i'll call my um my project name mage project and click enter so now our mage is running so let's go to our 
and for we to open it we need to use our local host um, 6789 in our browser for we to access our image we install we need to come to our virtual to our compute engine and click on the instance we created click on it click on it and um, come to network interface and come and this and copy the external ip address and come here and um, click on and the and the extension and the extension is um and the extension is um six seven eight come here and then um, put column and type six seven eight and press enter so this is how you this is how you set up your mage there might be some instance that you were not able to access your local host and the six seven eight nine extension so you come to your um you come to your virtual machine and let's let me go back to our virtual machine you come to your virtual machine you come to your um instance because um your ip is not open to for you to access um the local host so you come here and type in um, fire and um, firewall so you type firewall and choose a um, VPC network, firewall VPC network. And come here and select create firewall rules. So we name our firewall rule merge access one and the description, same thing. And we'll come here under, under target. You select all instance in the network and under, under this, under the source IPv4 range, which, which um, type 0 0.00 slash 0. And we select them um, TCP and we we'll select the port of 6789 and click and create so with so with this um with this so with this firewall we just created, with this firewall rule we just created, you can we can now access the port of TCP 678. So we are allowing we are allowing the TCP of ingress of 678 on our port. So now this is how you set up your merge. And if you want to start a new project, you just click on new project, click on standard. You can load your data with the you can load your data here you can click here to load your data you can either use python sql or r so if you're using python you can choose um the cloud services if you're getting the data from s3 bucket if you're getting the data from bigquery if you're getting the data from azure block so you load your data here then you can click on this icon on this user interface and write your transformation code after um, transforming it and um, completing your DAG, you can now export it back to, you can now, you, you, you can use the data exports. You can use the data exports to now export the data either to Redshift, to BigQuery, or to Azure Schnapp Analytics. So it depends on the, it depends on the 
platform you are using even to snowflake so this is how uh, merge work it makes life easy as a developer as a data engineering developer it makes life easy for you compared to, to compared to airflow which you have to write series of code in order to run a single DAG. so thank you guys for watching and keep learning